Uh, welcome back to my blind playthrough of Octopath Traveler 2. Time to move on with some more stories. We're gonna do Hikari's chapter 3 in this one, or I'm gonna do. And see what other stories I can do in this recording session here. will be a few episodes on my YouTube channel. Alright, let's hear a tale about Hikari. Following the advice of Kazan, Hikari travels to Wellgrove in order to stop a shipment of weapons from reaching Ku. Apparently, a merchant named, Azu named Azuma knows where this clandestine trade is going to occur. So let's continue that tale. So this is where the arms trade is to take place. The clouds move swiftly overhead. Just as they did on that day. That day? What day? Guess I'm about to find out. Looks like more war on the horizon. The life of a soldier, huh? The coin's good, but will I be able to spend it before I'm in the dirt? <sighs> we just have to endure. How much world can there be to conquer? <laughs> good question. Oh, noble protectors of the castle, would you care to buy any oil? My son is soon to serve within the keep. I mean to celebrate his appointment with a gift. Stay away from us, low-born scum. I can smell your stench from here. Oh, I... I apologize, sir. Forgive me. Um. Ah! Uh. Was that really necessary? What does it matter? He would thank me for ending his pitiful existence. If he could. <laughs> One big bastard. You shed a tear when squashing an insect. Ku will soon grow beyond the need of such rabble. Why? Why did this happen? Why did father have to die? <sighs> right, three, two. This is life in Ku. The king cares only about growing his borders, no matter how many lowborn he crushes underfoot. They killed father for no reason, like he was no better than a fly buzzing around their ears. Prince Hikari. Hmm. Come here to pray for the lowborn. A rare sight. I'll find the men responsible for this, and they will pay. That won't bring my father back. Won't stop this from happening again. So long as we are lowborn, a boot on our neck is the best we can hope for. Isn't that right, my prince? You can call me Hikari, and you are? Ritsu Mishuyo. Remember it well. I don't plan on groveling in the mud forever. Ritsu, I look forward to hearing the name again. Don't cry, Mika. See those clouds, Hikari? I'm going to etch my name upon them. Bold enough for father to see. Just you wait. First things first. I need more information about this shipment. I should start by finding that merchant Kazan told me about. Azuma, was it? Azuma. I thought it was Ritsu's beginnings. I remember that character at least, that's nice. It's been a while since I played that first part of his story after all. Um, 
Do you want to buy anything? I don't think there's anything for me to buy here. I haven't bought already. That's not better than what I have now. I got that brutally strong dagger from the <laughs> kid in the town. That was incredible. Right, let's head over and search for... Uh, that merchant in the tower then, it seems. I can bribe him? I'm a merchant, I don't do anything for free, even for my friend of, Kas friend of Kassan's. Really? Will this do? Open steals details. A merchant doing business in the Leaflands. He is an old acquaintance and drinking companion of Kassan's. He has recently caught wind of coup soldiers frequenting the secret sacred forest, secret forest on the outskirts of Wellgrove. He sent word of their activity to Kassan. Oh, really? Thank you, thank you. Any small business you can afford me is much appreciated. I sense greatness stirring within you. I suppose Kazan wouldn't have thrown his lot in with you otherwise. What is it he always says? An eagle can take the measure of man and need alike from afar. <laughs> now, as for the matter of this transaction, a little bird told me it will take place deep within the forest, out of sight from prying eyes. Even so, these weapons are vital to Ku's plans, and will likely be heavily guarded. Deal details. Go with caution. I will. Many thanks for the advice. Right, in the forest, you say. Secret Forest, danger level 26. This Start. mission shall determine the course of our nation. It is a great honor to be assigned guard duty, Captain Ritsu Mishuyo. An honor I am all too proud to accept, General. I know of your humble origins. You've done well to reach your station. See these weapons delivered safely, and His Majesty will surely lift you even higher. Yes, General. I'll protect the shipment with my life. Good luck with that. Not a fan of him. Right, let's hear some travel banter. This is one of the most fun things, to be honest. What's wrong, Ikari? You seem preoccupied. Ah, uh, apologies. I was just, just, I was just thinking of Ritsu. Since we were but children, we trained together, always rivals in swordplay. We would spar until the sun was low in the sky. Mika would bring us rice balls. She worried if we trained too hard. We would sit under the shade, eating and talking of our dreams for the future. Pleasant memories, to be sure. Such good friends are essential in life. Friend, we were. Once. Much has changed since those days. But still, we continued to swing our swords as we always have. All in the service of the future we envision. All in service. More travel banter. Sweet. I hope I didn't miss anything, I might have. It's not every day you see a prince reduced to robbery. I will do what I must in service to a brighter future. Future without bloodshed, if I recall. I might. Consider living in a coup where you're king. It would be nice not, not to smell that stench again. But it would. However, the road ahead is choked with enemies. If you walk, walk it with me, you will witness bloodshed again. That's fine with me. As long as we get what we want at the end. Though the less blood I have to see, the better. We're of, this, we're of the same mind. No blood shall be spilled without purpose. 
Have a nice little relationship going, those two. Light amulet. It deals light damage. Cleaning time. Well, we just go for the usual deal. Next. Smack. I take what I want. Smashing them enemies into bits with my inventor. I don't know if they intended to make that that strong, but I mean I couldn't they couldn't have unintentionally made it that strong. Or the random encounters that is. Here I come. How's this? There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. Right, more level ups. Okay, I had that one already, yeah. And better. The gear that I have, a lot of the gear that I have is overly strong for where I'm at in the game, I feel like. Prepare yourself. I mean most of it wasn't really that hard to come by either. I so still have much to learn. It's kind of interesting. Me at least. Alright, I'm gonna go up here first and see what's what's up, so to say. Alright, there's that chest. Out of my oh, way. something else, but apparently not. I need a plan. Fire. Burn a weak. Study hard. Starting to deal decent damage. Oswald as well, with his spells. Keep what he has. Save point is suspicious. Stand aside or fight. Prepare yourself. How's this? For the pride of Ku. Better the pride of Q. next I am General Ro of Ku. I come here in his majesty's stead. I don't care a whit for titles or names. Show me the coin. It's been a pleasure. I'm some merchant. Pleasant type. Almost disappointingly uneventful. <laughs> well then, load up the wagons. <sighs> Prince Hikari? Those weapons stay where they are. But I won't shed blood if I can avoid it. I must set an example for the future of my home. Yeah. Leave this place now and you'll keep your lives. Hikari. They say you're a traitor. His majesty has put a pretty price on your head. Sid. If you do not stand down, you will face my blade. Out of my way. Well, my this turn. should be unproblematic. Soon. Well, well. Who's next? And so it goes. Indeedly doodly. 7,800 APM. My little lady. Throw uh, Enough. You're no match for me. Hikari. Right, so. I see you yet live, my prince. 
Leave the weapons here and go. <sighs> You've come all this way just to snatch glory from my hands again? Fine. I'll repay the debt I owe you. There will be no quarter this time, Ritsu. No one will keep me from guiding Ku to the future I envision. A future without bloodshed. Ha! A grand idea. Why do you need that sword, then? Seems to me that's an instrument of death, not peace. Or am I wrong, Hikari? Ku is the product of an endless cycle of war. It was built upon a mountain of sacrifices. So long as Mugen is king, nothing will change. But this sword will sever that vicious cycle. Sounds good. <laughs> it seems you've chosen your path, my prince. But you chose wrong. You should have followed Lord Mugen. General Roe, you had my father's ear, his trust. Sheathe your sword, please. I don't want to fight you. My allegiance is to the kingdom, whosoever may wear the crown. And we are here by direct order of his majesty. We cannot simply abandon our duty. If you mean to take these weapons from us, then it will have to be by force. Rough times. But be prepared to find out why they call me the Wild Bull of Ku. Better men than you have crumpled before my charge. I never wanted to cross swords with you, who served my father so faithfully. But if you insist on forcing me to bear steel... I will. Challenge, okay. Fine, I'll let the wild bull, bull lead the charge. Set us the, us, set us this the way two warriors should for the duel. Under divine dual edge. So what? I mean, the hunter isn't optimal, to be honest. Maybe I'll go for the apothecary. Healing touch would actually be kind of nice to have. Let's go for the apothecary instead. Thief would also be really nice for the HP thief, but let's go for apothecary. Want some kind of heal at least. I mean, merchant would also be really nice because of the. But I don't have the axe. I don't really need the axe te 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 technically. Because uh, rest is really sweet, to be honest. Let's go with thief. And we take the champion seeker for you and the lockpick for you. Nice. Why do I have this one still? Beastly scar for dragon scar. Let's go with the uh, dragon scar. Maybe I'll take a beastly scarf as well. Alright, let's try it out. Shouldn't be a problem. If I must. Shouldn't be a massive problem anyway. Now then, two arms. This is what you wanted, isn't it, Hikari? Brace yourself, Prince Hikari. I am General Ro, the Wild Bull of Ku. I shall skewer you upon my horns. Here I Talky, come. aren't we? Uh, let's check his weak mm -hmm. points first of all. How's this? None of them, really? All right. 
Predictable. Prepare yourself. So I'll just use one Allow of these. <laughs> My turn. Alright, let's do. Let me just do a. I guess I could try using this one after all. You can break him with that. How's this? Now it begins. Let's do another defiant stand. Here I come. How's this? Let's break him. Let's some damage now. Prepare for the blood. Boils. Let's do the. I'll end this. Let's do this one because I don't know if I'm gonna deal max damage or not. I would have dealt more than max damage if I'd used another attack. I think. Stop lying to yourself. You want to kill him. <laughs> Ikari. You want to be bathed in this weakling's blood. Allow me to help you with that. <laughs> what? Here I come. So I'm doing this again. Is he gonna find the battles with that part of him in the end? I'm guessing at least. Now, Hikari, finish it. Paint the woods red. <laughs> How much longer will you deny your true nature? How much longer must I tolerate this farce? A shadow looms at your back, Lord Hikari. <sighs> Enjoy the time you have. For one day, it will consume you. General Rowe! <laughs> Fall back, Captain Ritsu. What? But... Hikari... You will never be king. I'll see to it personally. Personal. I'll be waiting for your homecoming. Ritsu... What happened to me? Have I lost control? This cannot stand. I won't be forced to hurt my friends again. Unleash sword attack on all foes two times. Well, that sounds interesting. I don't know which I want to forget though. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's too many good moves. I like this one. I like this one. I like this one as well because I don't. It's a. It's a good way to. Like it's a bow attack. I can break stuff with bows. If I want to. I like this one for the reduced physical attacks. It's also very nice. Let's go with the squall of arrows. Squall of arrows. General Rowe, why didn't you let me take his head then and there? Have you heard nothing of the accursed blood of Clan Ku? I've seen it before, in battle. Something possesses them, 
It has delivered many a warrior of Clan Ku from the brink of death to the crest of victory. A victory which leaves no survivors. <clears throat> Be grateful that you escaped with your life. A cursed blood? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Sounds like nonsense to me. Regardless, we have failed, His Majesty. There will be a reckoning. General. He's gonna do something to know. I failed no one. You were the one who showed your weakness today. <laughs> what? You arrogant cur! Don't dirty my name by including me in your blunder. And your reckoning has already arrived. W wait I'll apologize to his majesty on your behalf by gifting him your head. <sighs> He's crazy as well. Everyone's the crazy. Is done. Now, what to do with all these weapons? My prince, I have no doubt your mission will go off without a hitch. And when it does... Pray, bring the weapons to the town of Ryu. I'd hate to see such fine equipment go to waste. We will have defanged our enemy and sharpened our talons in turn. An eagle affords himself every advantage. Every advantage. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like I'm just another piece in his games. Yes, you are. Master Kazan! Welcome, my prince. And well done on procuring those weapons. Procuring? You made me into a bandit. <laughs> but I suppose I shouldn't complain, given the results. How have your preparations gone while I was away? <laughs> I know that smile. Before us is a foe mightier than any we've faced before. A man of my profession does feel stimulated by such a challenge. Reassuring words. Let's have a toast, eh? Tonight, we drink. We've won nothing yet. You shouldn't drink before the victors have been decided. <laughs> if you insist, my prince. Well then, I believe you wanted to find our old friend Raimu. Indeed. The late Lord Jigo entrusted Clan May with stewardship over an outpost on the eastern continent. Their castle lies in the snow-swept northern reaches of the region. Stormhead, it's called. Then I leave at once. Safe travels, my prince. When next we meet, it will be upon the battlefield. Sounds good. Right, Raimei next with uh, Hikari. I don't know what level that's gonna be. Elsewhere at that very moment. Mugen, the new monarch of Ku, breaks the peace treaty with the neighboring nation of Sa and begins his assault. Us. And in a matter of moments, the vast majority of Sa is overrun. Treacherous coup worms! I should have known that peace was nothing but false promises! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a fool. 
treaties exist to be broken. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. It's simply a matter of how therein lies the art. They made a pitiful effort at resisting yeah. your majesty, but now they've been subdued. Sa shall serve us well as a base of operations. Its survivors will bolster our numbers. Kill them all. But, Your Majesty, there were thousands. Children as well. The grudges they bear will become the seeds of their strength. Best to pluck them from the earth while we can. I won't give the command again, Ageha. Of course, Your Majesty. Holy crap, he is one bad fellow. Slaughter everyone. Ritsumi Shuyo reporting. I've just returned from my duty. And what of General Ro? He was your leader, if I recall. He was, but he betrayed us, your majesty. He worked in league with Prince Hikari. In secret, he told the prince about the shipment, allowing him to steal the weapons. I was forced to flee, but not before taking the traitor's head. Everyone just lies and lies and lies. Is that so? You bested the wild bull. I, I would risk my very life if it meant one fewer traitor to your noble cause. Hmm. Well done, Ritsu Mishuyo. Still, the news that Hikari yet lives is troubling. He aims to take your throne, and is gathering strength even now. Try as he might. He is a weakling at heart. Leave me. Your Majesty, do you believe that rubbish he fed you? <laughs> His words are worth less than nothing. <laughs> Still, his boldness is impressive that he would not scruple to use an ally's death for his own gain. I believe I can make use of this, Ritsu Mishuyo. <laughs> Change is upon us at last. Soon, the fires of war shall engulf the world. When Sikari stops the clandestine deal, making his enemy's strength his own. Among their ranks was an old friend who once walked the same path as Sikari, but no longer. The dream they once shared lies shattered. Even so, Hikari must move forward. He travels east to seek out the a most vital ally. Hikari the Warrior Chapter 3 End. Right. I'm just gonna check the, like, if it is a chapter 4 and if it's like level 45, I'll do something else first. Here, I believe? 39. Not that high, but I mean, Stormhail is pretty. How do I even get to Stormhail? Through here? Or. It isn't, it isn't obvious to me how I get there. Snow first and printed bloom. Must be here, right? From here and maybe through that cave or that one. One of the two, perhaps? And one would assume that you can get there from the snow area. Oh, not as far as I can tell anyway. Well, let's go on with uh, a chapter, another chapter instead. Let's do 
Let's do, let's do, let's do what now? Nothing down there. Okay, maybe I'll do Oswald's chapter two now, or chapter three. Oswald doesn't have a chapter two, that's kind of weird. Where's Temenos, by the way? Oh shit. Chetas, right, Chetas two chapter twos as well, naturally. Where's Temenos? Wait, no? Where's Temenos? Am I blind? There he is, okay, right. We need level 14. Now let's do Oswald first. Cotton Creek, here we go. again. And let's give you the lockpick and let's give you the frontier axe and the engagement boat. I know how strong that move is going to be. I kind of want to, I'm going to do this now uh, just for the heck of it. So I want to try like how good that sword move is with full strength. What did I need to do for this? I can't remember. I can't even remember. Get more apothecaries. That is. Herb of Grace Bud, right? Oh, I get those. Uh, tavern is where I was supposed to go here. El Tavern. Let me know if you would use some a little shine. I'll dance my heart out for you. No doubt. Well, that traveler, what can I do for you? Tell me about Oswald's chapter three. For some reason, like I said, he doesn't have a chapter two. Finally, Oswald is free of Frigid Isle. Taking revenge upon Harvey, Harvey, the man who framed him for the murder of his own wife and child, is, is all he can think of as he makes his way back to Cunning Creek, where his home once stood. Oh. All I had was right here. And in the blink of an eye, it was taken from me. Harvey. I shall have my revenge on you! <sighs> where is he hiding? I've no idea where he went after the fire. Perhaps there's some trace of him where my home once stood. And one other matter weighs heavily on my mind. Right then, to work. To work, yes. Let's get to work. Should be interesting. Tell me something, Oswald. You escaped from Frigid Isle, right? I wouldn't be here otherwise. How did you how did it feel when you finally escaped? It didn't feel I didn't feel it didn't feel any particular way. You didn't feel anything when you won your freedom? No sense sense of liberation? If I do, it will come after finishing what I set out to do. You mean when you get your revenge? I can see the collar around your neck, Professor. You may have fled your cage, but you're still a prisoner too. Two? So you feel just as, just as trapped. Alright, let's head over to Oswald's little home here in the east. You want? Here before, didn't I? I don't remember that being there then. My home. No one's done anything about it. If 
five years ago, it was reduced to ash. I ventured into the nearby forest to be alone with my thoughts. It was part of my daily routine. A bad habit. When I returned, everything was gone. I was seized by the town guards. And haven't been back since. <clears throat> Welcome home, my dear. I see the conference was a rousing success. <laughs> Indeed. Forgive me for being away so long. Elena, my dear. Aren't you tired? Let me take your things. <laughs> They're a bit heavy for you yet, but uh, I appreciate the offer. Here, take this instead. I searched all over, and I'm sorry to say I found nothing better to give you. Come now. When else can you bury yourself in your studies if not at a conference? Come, Elena. There is math to teach you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you too. Forgetting something? Hmm? Am I? You didn't say I'm home yet! I'm home. It's so quiet now. Time to search for clues. Harvey and I both sought the one true magic. He wanted my research, no doubt. Which would lead him to my study. Let's go. Make for awesome ones study. Nice getting all this back studying. As I suspected, my study is intact. I like these. I mean, I like the, the, the character stories that I've played so far. I've liked all of them. Oswald is nice. He's got a nice story, and so does Throne and uh, Fikari. So, really happy with how they are progressing so far. And what's more, he's stolen every last one of my formulae. Were they ordinary spells, I would not miss them. The one true magic, however, requires vastly more complicated calculations. I built those equations myself, all but the last missing piece. Harvey, however, took a different approach. So why did he want my formulae? You there! Who are you? Oh my. Oh my, my, my. Lady Clarissa, my assistant. It's been quite some time. It is I, Oswald. Have you looked after the study during my prolonged absence? Hmm. Hmm. Oswald? You? What a fanciful tale. 
Oswald is locked away on Frigid Isle. No, I am here. I have escaped, as you can see. What proof have you? <laughs> you think me an imposter. You have his figure, but that is not enough. The research gathered here is a pile of riches to the people of this town. There are ruffians who would go so far as to impersonate Oswald if it meant stealing his work. What peculiar reasoning. One cannot arrive at the truth without considering every possibility. That is what the Oswald I know told me. <laughs> now. Hmm. <laughs> The real Oswald would know how to withstand my magic. And so the result of this duel shall determine whether you be true or not. My dear assistant. You never were the type to let go of a pet theory. Very well. <laughs> I have no choice but to help you test your hypothesis. And give you your answer. Future hinges on this battle. No. A group battle? I didn't expect that to be honest. Uh, this... Let me I mean, look. this one shouldn't be too hard, I hope. I assume. Mass flash. What to do? Could be interpreted the wrong way. You're too kind. Prepare Gosh. yourself. Weapon is just so strong. What kind of weapon I can deal with a regular attack from Ikari? Very well. 100. Pretty nice. Stony <laughs> PP to Oswald. <sighs> Where was Dazzling Flash. Don't do that. I don't want to be confused. Uh, Awakening Valor Clary. Here you go. Ready? Um. Let's do this. Here I come. Let's do the fine well, stones. Hmm. Impart your wisdom, Alabama. Enemy BP, but that's fine. What to do? Let's just do this one. I take. Should have expected it. Shouldn't have much left. It's a low level one, so I didn't really need to focus that much, but it's fun. Magnificent. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Such power. Yes, you could be none other. Welcome back, Oswald. Thank you. I hope I haven't injured you. If that were enough to exhaust me, I would have no choice but to forfeit my position as your assistant. <laughs> I have always believed you were innocent, you know. Oh? On what grounds? On the grounds that you are who you are. I'm afraid I don't follow. <laughs> I am delighted to see you still take things far too seriously. So, why have you returned? To search for Harvey. I see he left no trace here. Harvey. You, Oswald, were the only scholar of magic present at the scene. That was the justification provided for the guilty verdict. Yet there Harvey was, standing before me while everything burned. And still they insist he was not there. So I must also suspect the guard unit that restrained me. I shall investigate their ties to Harvey. Your husband was a guard, yes. Might he know anything? 
Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Oswald. Hmm. Then I shall ask the townsfolk. What will you do once you've investigated this case? Kill everyone. Or something. Let's see what she's got. Nothing I can get a hold of, apparently. We scholars feel an innate desire to seek out answers, and yet... Back to town. There, but maybe I didn't, or maybe I reloaded and lost that somehow. Lost that progress. Hmm. So, y so we're to gather information around town, are we? Then allow me to help. Investigations are my specialty, and there's a trick to getting reliable, a reliable testimony. Reliable testimony. Fascinating. What might that be? Don't ask too many questions. Right. Aha. Frequent questioning interrupts the subject's thought process. To wit, if you ask a profile of the suspect, you will get information about their appearance, sure. But you'll make it that much harder for the sub subject to recall, say, the general scene of the crime. Information which may lead, which may, may hold invaluable clues. Let them talk at length, rather than lead them by the nose. Haha, just like a sheep. The longer you let the wool grow, the more there is to share. Fine piece of advice, I'll keep it in mind. Um, right, let's scrutinize this little fellow then. What? Young man born and raised in Conning Creek. He is a significantly older brother joined the guard only to be suddenly and unreleased unreasonably discharged the sibling pre protested naturally oh, not oh, only to be threatened by the captain of the guard himself he still lives in the fear of that threat to this day hmm. some of the guards who have been serving for a while were suddenly discharged they were then regrettably replaced by ruffians from the eastern continent People say it's all, it was all Captain Stenvar's doing. Can't stand him. He acts like he owns this whole town. Ah, uh, sure. Let's, let's, why not? Not that I need to, but I just feel like it. What's this? Brought to this town for marriage some years ago. Her ability to ex extract worthwhile information from even the most god everyday gossip has led to a profitable career selling what she knows about to an information broker. A man named Stenvar has been in charge of, his, of this town's guards for a few years now. No one has a kind word to say about him. I heard he has a secret ties with some strange scholar. Supposedly someone saw the two meeting before that incident five years ago. I'd be able to do this one now if I wanted to. It's only six strength only. Well, maybe I'll do that after I'm done with all the stories. Go back and check if I can mug anyone else. Ones I couldn't do before. They were too strong. Head cook. Have you seen the ruins on the east side of town? There used to be a house there, but it's, it burnt down. The guards investigated the incident for only a few days before calling it quits. I think they'd need at least a couple of weeks to get to the bottom of something so horrible. 
Let's go to As I thought, the guards are my best lead. It was Stenvar, their captain, who ordered me investigated. It is my understanding he had a clandestine meeting with Harvey before the incident. He ought to still be at the guard's main outpost. I shall seek him out. Lady Clarissa. You aim to have your revenge. Is that it? Do you remember my husband? Ethan? How could I forget him? He referred you to me. He passed away. Not long after the incident. He washed up in the harbor. They claim he took his own life. He'd no reason to do such a thing. And the guards never investigated further. Before the incident, well, it felt like he knew something. Then will you not investigate his death? Nothing begets nothing. Those are your words. Revenge is nothing, Oswald. It is empty and hollow. Even so, I must go. Stenvar, Captain of the Guard. I must go to the outpost at which he's been stationed. Let's do that then. It's finally open! A dungeon. Makes sense, I guess. Although, I mean, again, this is only a level 18 area, so I'm gonna smash everything that I come in contact with. Everything that I breathe on. Opponent. Ready? Well, well. Next. All tidied up. Everything will be smashed into pieces. Thorns armor. Explore, because there might be something useful in here. Nothing. Game breaking, but still might be something useful. Out of my way. After all, thinking time. Fire. Finished. I've seen and worse than burns. Guard's hat and silence. That could be nice, I suppose. It'd be nice if there was some, like, kind of ribbon in the Final Fantasy series that prevents all status ailments. That would be incredibly useful sometimes. Certain enemies use a lot of status ailments, after all. Do be gentle. Do be gentle. My turn. Well, no, well. I don't think I will. Too easy. And so it goes. Right, it's daytime, that's what I'm dealing with. Less damage, switch to night time. So much. 400 and almost 500,000 leaves. That's a fair bit of money after all. Like I said, I'm not really worried here. Who are you? Oswald B. Vanstein. In the flesh. You're presumed dead in a botched escape attempt from Frigid Isle. 
I seek Harvey. Do you know where he is? Hmm. You met with him in secret before my family burned. None other than the late husband of Lady Clarissa attested as much. But you refused to hear him, and had him killed instead. In exchange for Harvey's coin. <laughs> my, my. You scholars certainly are a shrewd lot. I confess, I aided and abetted Harvey. Facts are malleable things, you see. The powerful can bend them to their will. Provided they have enough coin, that is. Rocky little bastard. I'm rather fond of coin. It can't be bent the same way, it seems. Hell, I'd do anything for it. It has given me all you see before you. <sighs> Quit stalling. Where is he? Wish I knew. Doesn't matter, though. I can't let you go. You know too much now. And that's not good for me. Ah, yes. Of course. Oswald B. Vanstein, the tragic scholar. Let's see how malleable those bones of yours are. What a waste of time. I mean, if he kills him, how is he gonna prove that he's, he's innocent, so to say? Cleaning time. Alright, well, let's just do this. Uh... Oh, yeah, let's do... I'm just gonna do this. You're open. My turn. How's this? Very well. Um. Need some DP to Oswald. That's a hope. Orders, you say. Calculations complete. Impart your wisdom, Halifax. Too slow. <laughs> what to do? All right, time to kill. Sorry, but I won't hold back. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually wins this fight for me. Well, well. Too easy. <laughs> Now it begins. Just to... What is this? Let's hear it. I'll end this. Here you come, good. <laughs> I still have much to learn. Yeah. That's what you get for being so low leveled. P please, have mercy. Spare me my life. It is not your life I want. It's Harvey's. Where is he? I, I swear I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. Please believe me. Spare me your sniveling. You're sure he told you nothing? Oh, oh yes, that's right. I've just remembered something. The research he stole from you. It's been sent to Montwise. On Harvey's orders. Montwise. Has he taken it to the library there? My precious coin! <laughs> ah, 
But he's a careful man. He won't have left an obvious trail. Did he know I would come for him? Montwise. A town on the eastern continent. The city where Harvey and I met. Harvey wanted Stenvar to tell me where he'd gone. That's why he let Stenvar live. He knew I would escape. That I would follow him. Oh, really? You want me to follow you, don't you, Harvey? If so, I'll play along. I'll fall right into your trap. Oswald. <laughs> You're going after him, aren't you? Obviously. I've done what I came here to do. You must not be seen with me. I remain a wanted man. But I am your loyal assistant. My husband knew he was in danger. Before he died, he made me swear an oath. Bear no resentment against anyone, no matter what happens to me. Live your life for you. I wish to honor his memory. To forgive all transgressions against me. To devote what time I have left to study. How peculiar. Does an oath to the dead hold any meaning? No, I must confess. This is... This is simply a show of my love. Oswald, please. Your family rests in the ground. Will you not visit them? I forgot what love was a long time ago. I must find Harvey. That is everything. Oswald. Well done, that's pretty brutal. Oswald puts the town he once called home behind him. He can't bear to visit the graves of his wife and daughter, not yet. How can he face them when he's done nothing to avenge them? Fire within him yet burns. This he swears, he shall not return until it is all over. Until he finds the fire within has burnt out. Oswald the Scholar, Chapter 3, End. I, mean, I do like the fact that, I mean, the, how, how they are angling the revenge story as well, that it's like, the revenge isn't always good. Like that. Let's see what, is this chapter 4 for him now then? Montwise? Level is it? 36. I wonder if this is gonna be a chapter 5 for him or whatever. I mean, it's 36, and the other, I mean, it's, 39 for Ikarian, 45 for Throne. Not sure. 